led side by side by the match officials and today's meeting between Bradford and Featherston, it'll be the fourth time the West Yorkshire rivals have met in 2017 with Bradford comprehensively beating Featherston on all three previous occasions. They met in the Challenge Cup final at York in July. The Met two weeks later at Post Office Road, Bradford winning that one by 24 points to nil. And then just 13 days ago in the final round of the Women's Super League season at the Providence Stadium Odsall, Bradford winning by 72 points to 10. The profile of the women's game has risen over the last 12 months and we should be in for a real rugby league treat. Well, Featherston skipper Natalie Harrowell she felt that they have the winning formula to beat Bradford if they start well and then the confidence will grow and anything can happen on grand final day. So we're about to get proceedings underway here at the Manchester Regional Arena. Let's have some fun. And it is going to be Kirsty Maroney to get proceedings underway. And the first tackle driving the ball in is going to be the big prop forward, Emma Sloan. And Emma Sloan under pressure there from Lauren Hickey. And Lewis Fassell has come up with the first error of the match to Garner. And Garner now is going to be brought down on tackle number three for the Bulls. Fassell, out of dummy half, tries to muscle away over, but Bullman and Dunn there, great defence. Early doors from Featherston. And there's going to be an early try here for the Bradford Bulls. Maroney picks it up from dummy half. And Kirsty Maroney, captain fantastic for the Bradford Bulls, gets the opening score in the 2017 Women's Super League Grand Final. 10 metres to the left-hand side of the uprights. And Claire Garner now has an opportunity to add on the extra two, which she does on the halfway line on tackle number three for the Bradford Bulls women's side. For sell then to Garner. Garner gives it there to Stavely, and Stavely's going to be brought down. Ten inside the Featherstone Rovers half as it goes from Fassell. Fassell with a break. She's got Bullman to beat. Lewis Fassell is going to show and go around and underneath the sticks. Well, we mentioned she got a hat trick against Featherstone Rovers last time out against Featherstone, and she's on the score sheet again. Bradford extend their lead. They've hit double figures. It's 10 points to nil. Clagana then meticulously looking at the ball, looking at the post. That one will go between the post and over the black dot. The referee has a look. She's about a metre shy of the line. Peach along the line finds field. Grace Field wrapped up by three hungry, suffocating Bradford Bulls defenders. Incessant pressure though on the Bradford line. They're throwing everything at Featherston. It goes out to Roach. Roach steps in one, steps in two. Roach is underneath the sticks. And Georgia Roach, what an individual try that was. The referee points the finger. She's 20 out from the Featherstone Rovers line as the pass comes out towards Savannah Andre, the 18-year-old. She's still moving forward, twisting and turning, can't offload the ball in the tackle. And on tackle number four, she's brought down five out from the line. They're going to try and squeeze in at the corner with Hardcastle. Hardcastle's put the ball down, but it's short of the line. In the act of scoring there, Amy Hardcastle. She's lost the ball, such as the aggressive nature of this Featherstone Rovers defence. It is with Marone. Marone lays it off in the tackle, and Hick is going to be brought down now. And this is tackle number four coming up for the Bradford Bulls. For Sell to Marone. Marone kicks towards this main stand touchline. Savannah Andrade is chasing it, but Sarah Dunn to the rescue. Sarah Dunn's lost the ball. Savannah Andrade's going to claim a try there. The referee has a decision to make. Sarah Dunn clearly lost the ball forward, but the touch judge has stood his ground. I don't think this is going to be given. The referee still in consultation with the touch judge. Are they going to say Sarah Dunn was grounded in the in-goal area first? He's uh, looking to make a decision. He's going to rule the try out. And once you start that winning streak, it can breed and spread itself throughout the team. 
and he went on to say that victory should it occur this afternoon would cap off a fantastic season and it would be just what the girls deserve as we said Bradford coming into this game 11 wins no defeats and we might see the third try of the afternoon here for the Bradford balls just getting there in the corner is Charlotte Booth the England international it was a valiant chase back there by Kayleigh Bowman and she's gone on as Perla 60 metres there skirting down this midstand side the Bradford Bulls side while the scrums form Charlotte Booth at fullback wing free quarter line Charlene Hennigan Savannah Andred Amy Hardcastle and Lisa Taylor the halves were Claire Garner and Kirsty Maroney as Bradford look to move the ball on this left hand side from the scrum Garner in at dummy half Booth gets to her feet she's already scored an absolute perler a scintillator in the first half here goes Shona Hoyle now from dummy half the two 11s meet five out underneath the shadow of the Featherstone Rover sticks Hoyle gets to her feet she plays the ball it goes to Garner Garner drops the shoulder and Claire Garner slides over the line and Bradford have a fourth try at the start of this second half seven minutes gone on the clock and it's now Bradford Bulls 20 Featherstone Rovers 6 time back on we'll get up plays the ball here we go back down the middle as Bradford looking to add a fifth try to their tally for sell out of dummy half to Maroney Maroney looking for a second Maroney's over the line the touch judges have stood his ground and the referee is going to say no try so from the scrum Garner for sell Booth goes on the angle strides up straightens up five inside the Featherston half for selling at dummy half to Hardcastle on that right hand edge Hardcastle puts a fending on Don and Amy Hardcastle's away now Hardcastle has Bullman to beat she's going to put a fending on Kayleigh Bullman and she's done a John Alomu here at the Manchester Regional Arena that was unstoppable and Bradford have a fifth try it's the Bradford Bulls 24 Feverston Rovers 6 take a bow Amy Hardcastle as they start to put a little bit of daylight between themselves and Featherstone, Claire Garner, 15 metres to the right hand side of the uprights, back on track, back on target. Bradford, unstoppable pressure on this Featherstone Rovers line. There's a charge to the line there from Beth Sutcliffe, and she's now held up for Silla's options to the left, to the right. It's on the last tackle, the power play for the Bulls. They lead 26 points to six. Charlene Garner. Garner gets it out to Cortman. And Cortman's going to see Charlene Hennigan score. That was an unselfish act there by Jess Cortman. Bradford almost pat a cake rugby league. Move the ball along the defensive line. Featherston just ran out of numbers. And Charlene Hennigan has Bradford's sixth try in this Women's Super League Grand Final here at Manchester Regional Arena 15 metres to the left hand side of the uprights this to add on the extra two that one just creeps in on that left hand upright Kirsty and Marona out from the scrum oh there's a line break here by Charlotte Booth Booth in pursuit is Bullman Booth's going to try and go the distance but Bullman's got her Bullman brings her down and Booth after 50 metres, she's just outside the Featherstone Rovers 30, but Bradford have Featherstone stretched if they can get the ball out wide. It goes to Hardcastle, and she's got the ball. It's come loose in the tackle. The referee's playing on here. Hardcastle, a metre shy of that Featherstone Rovers try line. As Featherstone really try to put a squeeze on Bradford for sell then. As she dummied away over. The referee says no, the supporters think she's got there, but she's going to be told to get up and play the ball. Maroney now at dummy half, it goes to Hardcastle, Hardcastle out in the corner. Savannah Andrade, the 18-year-old, has she touched down in the corner? The referee points the finger, joyous scenes. The Bradford Bulls interchange players, the racing on the field. So too are the support staff. Here goes Grace Field. She's a big lass, can she get over? No, she can't. It goes out to Dobson. 
Dobson a short pass. The ball's been lost on the try line. Charlotte Booth kicks it dead. All eyes on the referee. He puts whistle to lips. The Bradford Bulls. They've done the Challenge Cup and Super League double. They're the inaugural winners of the 2017 Super League Grand Final. And look what it means. 11 games undefeated. The perfect season for Mark Prescott and the Bradford Bulls. Firmester Rovers players there in a huddle, they can certainly take great pride from what's been a great performance. In this final here at Manchester Regional Arena, we're going to have the trophy presentation coming up shortly. But a great final. Great spirits, Bradford Bulls. Started the season with an away victory against Fato Heathsay Tellens. And to put things into perspective, when they started the season, when the Bradford Bulls beat Fado Heath, way back in round number one, Farrell Heath, up to that point, had gone undefeated for 18 months. So the Bradford Bulls then bringing much needed cheer to the club 